Hello, my beautiful souls out there. This is Destiny. Destiny is back with another video. My people, today I'm going to talk to you guys and you ladies about the human race. This may not be a topic that we think on a lot, but it's something that we should give some thought to. So I have some very interesting information, guys, and what I'm going to do is share this information with you. Again, welcome my lovely, beautiful souls out there. This is Destiny and my YouTube. My YouTube channel is Destiny Forever Walks. So let's jump into this video and I invite you all to come in and sit with me and listen to this message that I'm going to share with you today. And for those that are new out there, this is your first time coming to my YouTube channel. You are so absolutely welcome to come on in and sit with me and my friends and my subscribers and watch my video. And my people, let's get started. I'm going to be looking down at my notes because, like I said, there's a lot of times I give a lot of information at one time and I just, my mind is not comprehending it all or holding it all within my mind at, at one point. So I have to use notes so my people so I won't get off target with what I'm going to talk about. So let's get started. The human race, and that is my title, the human race is 50 shades of bloodline that runs 10 colors deep. Now that may sound like, what that make any sense? It makes a lot of sense, people. Because your skin may be white and you think that, oh, the white, whatever is in my bloodline. No, you go down generations and generations through your ancestral line. There are so many other different races that is tied within your bloodline, even though you may look like what you call a Caucasian or a white person. Same thing with the black person. You may say, okay, you're a black person, but if you study your DNA, and you go back to your ancestors' bloodline, people, all the way back, you'll find that you're <laughs> that you are tied with a whole lot of different other cultures, a lot of other different races that makes who you are. So people really the human race is an illusion. It's an illusion. And that's something that we may not even think about. But because some people think because I'm this, I'm that, I'm that, I'm this race, that race. It does not separate you. We're not divided. We should not be divided by our color, by our race, our cultures, or our backgrounds. My people, you have to do a DNA ancestor test, and you got to find out the other cultures, the other races that's within your bloodline. Because, like I said, human race is 50 shades of bloodline that runs 10 colors deep. So don't just think because, oh, I'm all of this, I'm all... Indian, I'm all Chinese, I'm, uh -uh. there is more to you than being an Indian, there's more to you than being a Mexican, there's more to you than being black, there's more to you than being white, there's so much more, you just have to do a DNA ancestry test, and you gotta find out the different cultures within you, so, and that shouldn't be a big thing, color and race should not be a racist kind of thing, okay, so let's jump into the video. My people, there is no question that individual bloodline or individual human beings, they are different one from the other, okay? Even though our eyes, these two little things I keep talking about all the time, <laughs> that's not our true eyes. Those are our natural eyes. But our real eyes, what they call the third eye right here, it's the third eye chakra, that is actually really your first eye. This is the eye that sees all things. This is the eye that gives you illumination. But those little natural two things right here that we call our eyes, my people, it confirms about us viewing people as this race or that race or different colors of people every day, day in and day out. Whether you view them by their skin color, their body shape, their hair form, their eye shape, those two eyes are going to give us an illusion of what we think these races are, that these people are tied to, as of what the eyes are revealing to us. So for hundreds, about several hundreds of years, 
we have used these visual differences, my people, to classify people into four or five groups that we call races. And I say this, and this is Destiny speaking, and this is what Destiny is saying. Listen, people, I want you to hear what I've got to say. Our genes, it goes 10 color deep. 10 colors of deepness. And then some. If you go back, like I said, do a DNA accessory test and you find out where your ancestors are, where your bloodline is, where your uh, ancestors come from, you're going to find that you're a mix. You're not pure white. You're not pure black. You're not pure Chinese. You're not pure Indian. You're not pure Mexican. And you might be out there thinking you bragging that I ain't got nothing to do with this race or that race. And I'm not having you know, no part to do with this person or this culture, this group. That's stupidity, my people. We all are one. We all are blended. We all are mixed together. We may all look with different shades of colors. I'm saying the human race is 50 shades. We may have different shades of color. But the blood does not change. The same blood, the color blood, runs through each one of our veins and in and throughout our bodies. Our genes go 10 colors deep and then some. But we have a notion of race as being divisions among people and that are deep. We gotta get out of this racist thinking, you know? And, and, and all these things that we have become programmed to think that our race is better, our race is the best, our race is the smartest, our race is the richest. All that is stupid. That's racist. That's being racist, my people. So we have a notion of race as being divisions among people that are deep. And they also, my people, that also are essential that are somehow biological and even genetic. And that are unchanging. That these are clear cut, distinct categories of people. It's an illusion. Your two little eyes right there, they're not your true eyes, your third eye, I keep telling you. But these two eyes is sending you an illusion of what people should look like what they should whatever but it's an illusion people and the beauty of the race business is that you can identify people just by looking at them that's why a lot of times we have, we have been programmed to believe that we have grown up in our lives to believe that okay i can look at this person oh there's a mexican i can look at the shape of eyes that's a chinese i can look at this person that's an african i can look at this person they mexica okay whatever we think that we can identify people just by looking at them. But you don't have, you don't even have to look at their genes, though, because one manifestation of their gene is there. And namely, my people, the skin color is there, or their eye shape is there, or their hair shape, or the hair texture, or whatever, you know, their hair color or whatever, the eye colors, the eyes color. I mean, it's so much things that people go and try to distinguish and say this is what this race is by those different forms. And so, my people, namely skin color or the eye shape or the hair color, all that is a part of the illusion of that. We allow our minds to perceive that we know what a person's race or culture is. And then, that's the key to everything. That is the key to everything, whether we know it or not. My people, we all, as a race of people, have a little bit of every culture of people in our bloodline. I say that several times, and I continue to repeat that because that's the target of the message that I'm talking about. And, but guess what? Even though, we all have a bit of culture of all different races within our bloodline. My people, I'm going to tell you this. We can't get far from that. 
and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about because we all were, we all were created from the divine creator God of this universe and we all connected to the divine higher power the higher source the infinite intelligent the divine creator the divine source the energy source who do we want to call him God and we can't get far from that now infinite cleansing affirmative action battles immigration restrictions my people all place race at the center in contemporary life. So, listen. Race, then, is so fundamental to discussions when it comes to talking about poverty, education, crime, music, sports. Whether we are racist or anti-racist. Okay, people always got us tell me, oh, they're, they, they, they sing like this, they're white. They sing like that, they're black. Oh, they dance like this, they're that, whatever. Yeah. In, illusion, that's an illusion, people. And I'm going to say that again. Race is so fundamental to discussions of poverty, education, crime, music, and sports that... Whether we are racist or anti-racist, we rarely, though, question this reality. We just make our own perception, our own decision. Like I said, use the illusional mind to start defining things. Is it real, though? And we know that illusion is not real. It is an illusion, my people. Illusions are not real. Skin color, no, is only Skin deep. How deep can you go to find all those different races within your bloodline? How deep can you go? Most traits are inherited independently from one another. We all came out of the same dirt. We all out of the same gravel, the marbles, the neutrons, the protrons, and all that. We all came out of the same creation that the creative God created us. So how deep can we really go when it comes to skin color? Most traits, as I said, are inherited independently from one another. And listen, the genes influencing skin color have nothing, my people, to do with the genes influencing hair form or eye shape. And I said this before and I'm repeating, not even the blood type, not even your height, not even your musical talent, even your weight. A lot of people like so certain people, it's bigger because cultures cause weight. Because, no, not even your athletic ability and not even your forms of intelligence. Knowing someone's skin color, it doesn't necessarily tell you anything else about him or her. Knowing one trait like skin color doesn't necessarily tell you anything else about a person's other trait. Yeah. So, not one characteristic, my people, trait or even one gene distinguishes all the members of one so-called race from all the members of another so-called race. I'm telling you, it's an illusion. It's an illusion. If it's not an illusion, it's racist or it's prejudices or it's whatever but that has divided the human race that the creative God has created. My people, let me tell you this. Race is a, it's one topic where we all think that we are experts at. We think we have all the answers. We got all the, we know it all. We know how to tell this race from that, that. No, you haven't spent time with the divine creator to, for you to hear what he has to say. And I'm going to tell you what the Bible says about the human beings that the creator God created. But that one topic where we think that we are all experts. But yeah, listen, you ask 10 people, go out there, ask 10 people. To define race or name the different type of races 
And I'm telling you, you're likely, you're likely to get 10 different answers. Or you might even get that 50 shades of blood line that runs 10 colors deep. Because there's so much more to us, within us, we don't even know. Few issues, though, my people, are characterized by more contradictory assumptions or myth. And each voice with absolutely certainty. Each one of them saying, each one of them is voice with absolutely certainty. So that now I'm going to take you to the Bible because we all trust. Most of us trust the Bible. So what does the Bible has to say about race? What the Bible has to say about race where we think that we know all the answers and we are not listening to what the divine creator God has said. He has already placed this into writing before the foundation of this earth, before you were ever created. So what the Bible has to say about race? Let me tell you. God said that we were created in his likeness and in his image. Now, any serious biblical study of race or ethnicity, ethnicity, I'm going to try to make sure I got that right. It should start, though, people, in Genesis chapter 1 in your Bible. So, let me tell you this. If you go to Genesis chapter 1, you read and you read and read, you see that the Bible does not start out with the creation of a special or privileged race of people. No, you will not see that at all. There were no such people as white people, as Chinese people, or black people, or African people, or Mexican people, any young people, etc., etc., all the way up to the 50 shades of bloodline or colors. The Bible did not even mention any of those things about anything about races at all. So, when the first human being was created, guess what God called them? He called them Adam. A-D-A-M. Adam. And Adam, which is Hebrew for humankind. You get that? Humankind that did not distinguish different races, that did not label or this culture over here or this culture over there or that person or anything. No, he called them Adam, and the Hebrew for Adam is humankind. Let's see, Adam and Eve, they were not even Hebrews themselves, they were even Egyptians. They were not, neither labeled as being white or black or even Semitic. Where do we get that from? Where we label different cultures of people. Their own particular ethnicity is not even mentioned in the Bible, people. But the Bible seems to stress that they are the mother and the father of all people. All peoples of all ethnicities. But guess what? Also, Adam and Eve are presented as non ethnic and non national because they represent all people of all ethnicities. So, we put our two cents in it and we created a culture of races and different kinds of people but he called them Adam that was he created them in his likeness in his image he didn't call them a, 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 a race of people a culture of people he didn't call them different things as that he called them Adam so let me go break it down to you a little bit more and I'm out of here my people going back to your Bible go and get your Bible in Genesis Chapter 1, verse 26. This is what the creator God of the universe says. Let us make man, talking about Adam, 
in our image according to our likeness. Then goes on in Genesis chapter 1 verse 27. And what the creator God does, he describes his creative action. And he goes on to say verse 27. So God created man, talking about Adam, in his own image. He created him in the image of God. He created them male and female. So you see, now the image of God, as you see in that, is not calling out in particular race of people. In that, in that the image of God, it relates to one or more of the following. And as I studied that and I saw that, I said, he didn't call out this culture. He didn't call out this race of people. He didn't call, he didn't call nobody in any kind of race. He called them Adam. Adam. But let me share this with you. Now the image of God relates to one or more of the following. And I'm going to tell you what I perceive out of that. The first thing I saw, the mental and the spiritual faculties that people, they share with God. The second thing that I perceive out of that was this. The appointment of humankind as God's representatives on this earth. It was no division. We weren't divided. We weren't this race of people here, that race of people there. We weren't separated. We were all one because we were all one with the divine creator, God himself. We were created in his likeness, in his image, and we all got the same breath when he blew his breath into us. We, we all came out of the human. The God consciousness. The soul consciousness. And then we can see the third thing that I got out of this was a capacity to relate to God. That's what I got. A capacity to relate to God. Yet, what is clear is that being created, though, in the image of God, my people, it is a spectacular blessing. It is what distinguishes now. It distinguishes people from animals. Because he created the animals. And then he also created humans, the Adam and Eve. But my people, let me say this. Likewise, whether or not the image, I'm just repeating, the image of God, it distinguishes us from people and animals. But likewise, whether or not the image of God in people it was marred or it was blared. If you go continue reading further and deeper in your Bible, when you get from chapter 102 to chapter 3 of Genesis, that's when the fall of man, when Adam and Eve sinned in the garden, did that change everything? Did that change the culture? Did that change humor? Did that change the name of Adam and Eve? Did that change everything? And I don't know whether or not, like I said, the image of God in people was marred or even blared in that fall of Genesis chapter 3. But it is clear that at the very least, people still carry some aspect of the divine creator God, the image of God, our higher power, our infinite intelligence, our divine source, the creator of all things, the all that is, the creator of this universe, God, whatever that you may want to choose to call him. It is all okay, people, because we all made up one. One, one people. One people. He created us in his image and in his likeness. So my people, it is clear that at the very least, people still carry some aspect of the image of God. And this human, or this gives humankind a very special status in the creation. And furthermore, as mentioned above, Adam and Eve 
or ethnically generic. They are eth <laughs> ethnically generic. If you go back and look at Genesis chapter 1 and how he created them and he called them Adam, they were ethnically genetic, representing all ethnicities, all, all people. They were rep they was representing all people. I don't care what you call them, cultures or whatever. He would, they were representing all people. <clears throat> Listen, that's the Bible. It's very clear in declaring from the beginning that all people of all races and all ethnicities, they carry the image of God. Ethnicities. I mean, I'm going to say it again. That's the Bible. It's very, very clear. If you go back and read Genesis chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3, just begin of creation and the fall of man in Genesis chapter 3. The Bible is very clear and declaring from the beginning that all people of all races and ethnicities, they carry the image of God because that's what we are. We created us in his image, in his likeness. He breathed his breath into us and man. The mankind, the human kind, we became God consciousness. We became a living soul. And we all carry the image of God. And I don't know where all this other stuff came from and out of the minds of people, but that's how things get started because the way that man thinks and he put himself above the way God had programmed and has predestined our lives. And man started changing everything, started putting everything out there into books, and they started labeling things and saying things. Did it come from God? Did it come from God? And I say this, people, if it did not come from God, you didn't hear it from the divine creator, God himself, then you need to do some absolutely serious study and research into the things that people are putting out there and telling you. And then you need to be in a place of stillness where you can hear from the divine creator God himself because he will reveal things. He will show you the truth because the Bible said you shall know the truth and it's the truth that makes you free. So I have come to this conclusion, my people. Destiny has come to this conclusion that the human race is only an illusion. The human race is only an illusion. And I see that the human race is 50 shades of bloodline that runs 10 colors deep. I'm out of here, my lovely people. Just something just to think about. Just a little something to think about. Go back and do your own study. Go back and do some research. Go back to Google, YouTube. Put in answers. Ask questions in reference to all of this. But then you listen and you hear from the gut. The cut must speak to you with the truth. The cut never lies. Then you allow yourself to be in tune and connected with the divine higher power, God himself. He created you. You are him. And then you hear from him. And that truth will make you free because the creator God will never lie to you. Now, stay my beloved people. See you guys at the next video. This is your girl, Destiny, signing off for now. Namaste. I'll see you at the next video. I will see you at the next video. Destiny's here. She's going away to get more information to bring your way. I will see you at the next video. I will see you at the next video. Destiny's here. She's going away to get more information to bring your way. I will see you at the next video. I will see you at the next video.